Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Transfer Talks podcast. My name is Lele, and I'm a Transfer Jacks peer mentor. Today, we have a very special guest with us who is very interested to share their transfer experience. Hi, I'm Keely. Um, I am a transfer junior, and um, my major is elementary education. I came from Phoenix, like it's like northern Peoria is what it's called mm-hmm. area. Um, and I am just here to like go into teaching is the goal, but ultimately I have a really big passion with like working with kids. So I don't know what that looks like for me in the future. I'm really lucky to have the opportunity to be here under like a very less scholarship and like just further my like knowledge of working with kids. So I'm really happy to be here and really excited to like, it sounds silly, but to be a transfer. (laughs) I like being a transfer No, we're glad to um, have you here too. And I love the idea of you saying that you're you're proud to be a transfer student because I feel like we don't get that a lot. No. You know? No. Like I went, so I grew up like in a household where like college wasn't really like a priority because a lot of people are like, I know so many of my friends were like, oh, like it was like no brainer. Like I had to go to university. And I was Mm -hmm. very like lucky that like I had a family who was kind of like, yeah, as long as you go to school or go to work, like do whatever kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Um, And I kind of just grew up was like, "Eh, I'm not really interested in going to college. But then like as the time was clicking and like I was about to graduate high school, I was like, I should probably go to like something. I don't know what to do. But I'm (laughs) going to like go to college or something like that. And like everyone just has like a negative stigma to it. Like a lot of people are just like, yeah, it's like just like high school part two. And like, uh, and I'm just like, why? Uh, it's just like weird that like people just so are very like ag- not like against it but just kind of like see community college or just like transfers and just like oh okay. it's like it's like almost kind of hurtful you know yeah. it's like I, I came that's like my exactly. that's my pathway here exactly. you know yeah but that's what's like really cool about having a transfer program especially because I know I don't believe all universities have this kind of opportunity okay. for you guys yeah, yeah, yeah. but like we want to like better advocate for you guys and there is a very big difference between you guys and first year oh, as yeah. in like freshmen oh, yeah. very big difference you know and we just so happen to get the short end of the stick mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah I always like feel I like call myself the granny like in all of my classes because like I'm um, I'm like graduating like fall 2024 so like I'm like hypothetically like pushed back a little bit because Mm -hmm. of just the way I transferred here just everything just like how life goes and I'm like in a class with a lot of like sophomores and juniors but like they're like by like their age they're sophomores and juniors so like I would tell them like yeah I'm actually like 22 and they're like what you're 22 honestly like, though, what's, yeah. what's even funnier too is that no one can tell how old anyone mm-hmm. is here mm-hmm. nobody <laughs> and honestly i would not have guessed yeah i would not have guessed so. i like don't expect them but they're like the reaction that they're always just like what like, what are you talking and you're about? like it's not that big of a difference but okay <laughs> it's like two years and what you guys are okay mm-hmm. sure you're like i'm gonna act like i wasn't offended by that but it's okay <laughs> move on. yeah <laughs> well okay well Glad to have you here, not just for this podcast, but just NAU in general. Thank you. So how about we get started on some questions? Perfect. Okay, and we're just going to start with, like, this or that, just to ease into it. Okay, perfect. But so, um, fall semester or spring semester? I like spring semester. Okay, listen. I like spring semester because I feel like it's just that satisfaction of knowing that the school year is over with. I actually never thought about and it like, like that summer's coming and it just like feels like an accomplishment like fall semester is like an accomplishment at least for me like this was my first year well so far this is my first year at NEU so like fall semester you're like oh I did it like that was like a huge thing but like spring is like when I'm like I did it like Like, I actually actually did did it (laughs) so I like that and the anticipation of like summer it's just a lovely I love it (laughs) well speaking of summer uh, how how much do you want it on a scale of one to ten at the moment (laughs) uh one to ten yes I would say an eight I love the snow this is my okay this is my first time ever experiencing snowfall Uh so I'm getting like the like huge like just like history you know you got what you wanted you know yeah so like I it's fun when it's fresh it's terrible when it's like my car stuck and I can't go to work and the schools are shutting down so I can't do like any of my practicum or any of that stuff and then Mm -hmm. like ice I hate the ice but like if it was like 
how it fell on like the grass and stayed on the grass but like wiped out everywhere else <laughs> i'd probably would say like i love it even more but I think the ice really likes us <laughs> if we're, they just keep bringing us closer <laughs> to them i know i know so but yeah i'm kind of, i'm getting sick of it <laughs> like, no offense <laughs> no offense <laughs> i do not blame you like you said we are setting records this semester <laughs> and I thought the pandemic was enough, but you know, it's yeah, okay. Right? No, it's okay. Seriously. They're like, Keely, this is your first time ever experiencing snow. All right. We're going to like just hit you like on the side of the head with it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Now that we're halfway, hopefully less. Right? right? Yeah. yeah. We'll see. <laughs> I think I don't need to find some wood to we're, knock on. Okay. Right? No, we're seriously. Good. I'm like, at least before spring break so I can get out of here safely <laughs> and not be stuck, I'll be fine then. I would just really like to have some sunshine when I graduate. I don't know. Maybe it's no, too big of a wish. No, that's so true. I don't know. Especially like graduation photos. Like, I think snow and graduation photos are fun, but like, if it's like the leftover like brown chunky snow. See? Mm. See? Mm. You, know, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to the next one. Um, morning classes or afternoon slash evening classes morning i'm a huge morning person oh, i'm so jealous huge like i work i only work two days a week but i work at seven in the morning mm -hmm. so like i get up at like six and stuff like that and i can i'm it's like a blessing and a curse but like i can like wake up and just be like huh <laughs> just like how i am now i can feel like right as i on wake the up first in the try morning. oh my god yeah yeah <laughs> literally this morning i was like fighting my eye muscles i have my moments but majority of it i can just be like huh ah. and so i'm like see now that i have to ask if you're a morning person when do you go to bed <sighs> it's changed since coming here in a way where I started going to bed a lot later than I usually did. Um, I probably would blame my boyfriend for that because <laughs> we're long distance. So like uh, around the end of the night is like when we get to like catch yeah. up and talk to each other. And he like is a night owl. So like he can keep me up all night. So I would say last semester I would go to bed maybe around like 11 midnight. Ooh, what a rebel. But yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but like now this semester, I'll like catch myself like taking like melatonin at like eight and I'm like, I'm knocked out by like 8.30. Uh -huh. I'm like, it's bedtime. I need to go to bed. Night. I wit I'm a hundred percent, just like your boyfriend, um, a night owl. I like, it's like 10. I'm like, oh, I can stay up. No, I can't convince well, myself. Like, there's like a part of me after that. I'm like sitting there. I'm like, I think, and I look at the time. I'm like, it's only seven. Like I have so much time left. <laughs> exactly. But like back then I'd be like, it's seven. And I'm calling it quits. Like, good night guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so I'm glad. I'm, it's like good balance. I guess. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You're testing the waters a bit, exactly. right? <laughs> like, seeing what I like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here, next one, more with like the lighthearted questions. Okay. Um, what's your favorite memory being at NAU so far? Hmm. Well, so far, definitely like the friends I would say I've been making. Mm -hmm. um, I live in Taylor Hall. So like I'm having like the real like experience of like living in a dorm and stuff like that. And the first person who ever talked to me, um, she I was moving in with my grandpa and she just came up to me and was just like, hey, I have an extra bottle of Lysol. Like, do you want it? And I was like, oh, sure. And that's and when the friendship began. I'm literally, like, she's my best friend <laughs> up here. I love her. I die for her. Like, she's oh. graduating this semester and I was like so upset about it, but she's still like, she's going to stay up here. So I was just oh. like, yay. So like, I would say like the friendships that kind of just blossomed really early on it's has been ones, like my favorite it's the ones you don't expect no seriously i was like it was so funny because my grandpa was just like never thought about it so then like i go see him and i'm like hey remember that girl <laughs> and, like mm -hmm. that very first person who talked to me when i moved in like i'm like she, we're like this like we're like this Aww. but i would also say like snow like as like <laughs> at, like on the topic of like weather like snow like seeing snowfall for the first time like it was like such a huge experience for me it's, like it's honestly beautiful yeah, it's it so really beautiful is. and just like watching it like i could just like look at the window and just like sit there for hours just watching it you're fall. like the main character right yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> oh my gosh i'm like sitting there like oh like i was just like so excited about it now i'm kind of like okay yeah but like, like I, <laughs> seeing my first snowfall like that was really special to me and then my friends were like we're gonna go like let's go play in the snow like Keely's never Aww. done that before so let's go like do a snowball fire or, like build a snowman and I'm just like yay like all giddy about it like a little kid I love it it's so much fun I love that for you especially <laughs> when you said like you're you're used to snow it's like you're comfortable with it already yes. and then you have like friends to add on top of exactly. that that definitely helps with the smooth transition yeah that's definitely. what happened with me if I wasn't paired up with a roommate that I love to death mm -hmm. I would die for her as mm -hmm. well like I don't know where I would be no definitely at all yeah I'm like sitting here I'm like I got so lucky for like coming up here. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm so grateful. We don't take it for granted. I've no. heard so many roommate stories. I'm like, I am so Seriously. sorry. Seriously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm so lucky. lucky. Yeah. So lucky. <laughs> yep. We don't look back. We're just yep. like, it happened. We're so like, she's my bestie. <laughs> we do. <laughs> so moving on to the next one. Um, tell us a little bit about your experience from your previous school. 
Um, so I went to Glendale Community College, um, and I didn't go to the, like, main campus. I went to the north campus, so, like, mm -hmm. that alone was already, like, so small. Like, people, you know, I, like, would feel hurt when people said it was, like, part two of high school, but, like, it probably was smaller than my high school, so, like, mm -hmm. I'm kind of just, like, okay, like, fair, but, like, don't say that to me. <laughs> but it was, like, all right, COVID happened, like, in the middle of, like, I want to say it was my first year. Um, so like that kind of changed a lot about it. And I really just didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Like if I wanted to go to university, I genuinely never saw myself being here, being at NAU alone, like mm -hmm. ever. So like I was just very like confused, I guess you could say around that time. But like I got my associates in arts, so it was very explorative, like yeah. super explorative of a degree. So I was able to take so many different like fun classes. Like I took geology because I love rocks. So I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> this is so much fun. Mm -hmm. Um and I went there previously like with the mindset of I need my associates just to have the degree because I want to go into the law enforcement. Like I was obsessed with like the idea of going into law enforcement, which like looking back now, I'm like, why, why was I? It's probably because I had an obsession with like the show Cops and like Live PD. <laughs> I was thinking it has to be <laughs> something like that. And I just like, was just like, wow, on TV, it's great. So I want to do it. And then like, I want to say like, after like my first semester, I was like, I don't want to do that. So shoot, like, what am I going like, to do? Okay, plan C. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I think I took online classes for the rest of the like time I was there just because it was still like wishy-washy with like COVID and stuff like that. And I was mm -hmm. like, I since everything's already online, I just want to just take online courses where they're already online. So mm -hmm. this doesn't change much for them. Yeah. Um, but I started exploring in like child education and like child development. And I took like a like children's literature class because I for some reason, like I can't even like explain it, but for some reason in the back of my head, I was like, well, if I did want to go to university, I know it'd be something relating to like working with kids. So mm -hmm. like, let me just take these classes. And it really benefited me. Like when everything with NAU just kind of fell into my lap, um, I like did that. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like the transfer where you like put all your credits and it like tells you like what percentage of the degree oh, you have mm -hmm. completed. It said for elementary ed, I had 50% completed, like without me even like trying. Wow. So I'm very fortunate with my time at um Glendale especially because um I was under a scholarship where they like fully paid for like my tuition like all I had to pay for was books and stuff like that and I'm really glad I just did that mm -hmm. because at, even though I'm here and I know what I want to do and I have like a good feeling of like what I want my career to be I didn't like about like a year ago maybe even less than a year ago and so like going to a community college really like helped me be like putting like taking classes and like getting that experience and trying to like give myself time to like think like what do I want to do like kind of just exploring without like the commitment I guess you could no, say like I totally that's what a lot of us transfer students have in common at mm -hmm. least the ones that attended community college yes um mostly those um ones but like it's the pace mm -hmm. you know and like I like how you said commitment too yeah. like we're not totally ready for that and we're not just gonna yeah. throw ourselves into that yeah because I I can totally bet you that most of the students that go right after high school Feel that they have to no definitely you know and yeah. they should also be given the opportunity to think about it but i know exactly. everyone has different circumstances oh, yeah, for so sure. we have to account for that oh totally but like um if you're given the opportunity mm -hmm. you know and you're able to destigmatize it too mm -hmm. exactly yeah you'll look back and you'll be like that was a good idea exactly I'm glad I did that. yeah because it's just like i like the biggest thing for like transfer people that i'm i'm very passionate about like coming from a community college and like telling people like kind of just changing that stigma like we keep talking about yeah. um i'm really passionate of just being like I mean, it's not for everyone, like it's different for everybody, but also like, don't like it's, if that's what you need to do and you choose to do, do it mm -hmm. and like take like gratitude in doing it and enjoy your time there. Like, yeah, it's only two years, you know, and like maybe when you transfer to university, that's only two years, but like, it's still like such a beautiful experience, I guess you could say. And I just learned so much about myself, about life, you know, you're going on like 1920 like when you kind of start like at community college mm -hmm. so it's like that's a lot of like adulthood you're starting and so a lot it's of a just really change. big transition period, yeah so. exactly so it's just like it was good like I guess like put kind of like tapping my foot into the water kind of deal and then like once I was like yeah I like working with kids like that's a no-brainer kind of deal then I was able to come here and like pursue that more and like get more of like an education and stuff like that but yeah I'm very grateful for my time there I wish I did more like 
extracurricular stuff mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But I was also kind of just like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. So I kind of <laughs> made that a priority yeah. more than anything else. Yeah, and that's totally fine. <laughs> yeah. But like now being here at NAU, how has like your experience changed? Oh my gosh. Well, okay. So it was like maybe a year ago, maybe like two-ish years ago, my mm. family kind of just thrown at me saying that they were thinking about moving to Texas. And I was like, oh, you're like, that's I... far. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know if that's for me. And so I kind of was just like, well, I don't know what I want to do and stuff like that. And like I said, any of you kind of just like fell into my lap and it just like was just everything like roommate went by super smooth, like choosing my classes and like the fact that like I was done like 50% of the degree I was wanting to pursue. Like it just all very like interconnected very well. It was all falling and coming into very place. Very much so, you know? yeah. And so like, wait, the question's like, what was my experience? Like how has your experience changed? Cause you've had an experience at your community college. Yes. And you've had experience here. Yeah. So how do they differ in a sense? Well, I think just in the sense of the size, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. a lot more opportunity for sure. I have never lived on my own also. So this is my first time like truly like kind of living on my own yeah. and kind of like venturing out in the independence, which is something I was planning on doing already. So it, like I said, it just all, kind of just like fell into my lap mm -hmm. um I would say like I have branched out more like myself like I have caught myself doing a lot more things like uh -huh. being a, a part of like many different things or just putting myself out there more than I did at uh, my community college and I think I've just grown a lot just I think it just comes with age as well but like I just noticed that there's just a lot of like I guess personality change and just like the what way is it? character development. There you go. <laughs> yeah, character exactly. Mm -hmm. So like I've I've noticed that while I'm here and just like realizing how much I do love Flagstaff as well. And I love being in a university setting. Like I've just never pictured that I'd be here. Like if I told like my like 10-year-old self that I was here, I they'd be like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no way. And just NEU's always been kind of like a dream school for me. Yeah. So Look like, at that. exactly. So like, I'm very happy to be here and like very glad that like, I'm making the most out of it. Cause I wish I did that with my community college. Um, and so I'm just glad that that transferred onto here and I'm able to just branch out more and do more and be on my own and just like, enjoy it here yeah and that's definitely something that you've gained being a transfer oh 100 percent for sure um so going on to the next question um with everything that has been said what do you wish people understood about the transfer experience because like we talked about earlier there's a big stigma about yeah it, you know i think like one thing i think this comes also just in general but like there's like I would say there's like a low key competition type of feeling to just like getting a degree. Like I would say like, it's like whoever gets it the fastest, you know, mm -hmm. whoever gets the best degree or the highest paying degree and stuff like that. And so like sometimes like how I shared about like when I would tell people about how old I am, you know, I was in a class last semester where like my whole group, they were all sub 17 and I was like, I'm 21. And they were just like, what, you know? So mm -hmm. like, I feel like, I wish people just like understood that like it it doesn't just go high school to university you know it's different and this is just to people too who don't go from high school to university or whatnot just people's like schooling experience education experience just life in general it's just so different mm -hmm. and that's nothing to just be like weirded out about I guess yeah. or just to be like oh like my experience is better than yours kind of deal because it's just like there is no competition in this. I'm going to get a degree so I can get a career at the end of the day. That's going to happen. No We're matter. going for the same thing. Exactly. Okay. No matter how old I am, like whatnot, I, you know, like I'm following my passion, like you're hope following your passion, you know? And so it's just like, I just wish that people kind of were just like, they saw it and they're just like, that's awesome. Like be more mindful. Exactly. There, right? And just mm -hmm. be like more like, not like curious, but I'll, I'll just not like, oh, so you have no idea or like you don't understand or all this stuff. Just yeah. not like feel embarrassed to tell people that I'm a transfer. Because yeah. there's a lot of transfer students that are a little bit like, I don't want to reveal that. You know, <laughs> exactly. like that's just going to make them think of me a certain exactly. way. And we really want to get, we really want to get rid of that. Exactly. And, you know, and it doesn't take just us. It takes everybody, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. that's what we really like about having this program, having this podcast, oh, definitely. especially to talk about and share your story mm -hmm. so people know because how yeah. else would how else are they gonna know exactly and point? it's like especially like if people feel the same way or like think the same way like i want to be able to like be sure to like 
be like, it's okay. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm happy you're here. Like, I'm proud of you. You're doing and great. Also, you're doing you know? <laughs> great, exactly. So it's just like, to be sure that they get that encouragement because like, I never did. It was always just kind of like, a, like kind of, oh, okay. See, in that way, like that philosophy of like, giving you better than what I kind of got. Exactly. Kind of like concept, that's beautiful. Yeah, thing, exactly. So. so yeah. Okay, well, great. That's pretty much all the things that we're going to talk about. Um, thank you, Keely. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. I got it for joining us today. We really appreciate you for coming in and sharing your experience. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.